So sorry, I'm gonna just show you something you need to do before you can work on the edit page. Now, if you go to your layout page, which is what I have open right now, you see that the URLs uh, to the links, uh, to the CSS and the J, uh, JavaScript, they are in time leaf format like THHREF. So you need to, in your, in your layout page, you need to make sure that the link on the JS, pay, uh, JS um, links here, they are all in time leaf, sorry, they are all in time leaf format like this. So it's gonna be THHRC is equal to add and you specify the link. If you don't do it this way, then you're gonna have problem when you are going to be loading the edit page. So take some time to convert all your URLs only in the layout page, of course. The layout page is the only page you need to modify uh, that contains all these links. So make sure you do this and do it before you work on the edit page. So this is something I want to let you know uh, because it's very important. So we are going to continue from part 26 and for now we have a list of country we also we are also able to add a new country but right now we are not able to delete a con we are not able to update we can also delete by confirming now one we'll be able to click on this green button the update button is going to display the update country page and then we make some changes and click on save and it saves the update for us so let's do that right now and if you are joining me for the first time please subscribe to my channel and if you have any challenges following my classes please let me know in the comment box below so basically the update page is going to be exactly like this just like the uh, adds new page so let's quickly write the code to um, let's quickly create the edit page simply by copying and pasting the add page so i'm going to copy the add um, the add a country page and simply paste it and rename it to country edit. I think that name should be intuitive. All right, so I rename it to country edit and I'm going to the controller now to write um, a, the, the controller method to actually serve up this page. So it's going to be exactly the same thing, just like this. So I'm going to copy this. The same method to display the add page is exactly similar to the one to display the edit page so simply change the name to edit um, change the name to edit here and change the name here to edit okay so this is what you should do and after then simply i think you may have to refresh so right click on your application go to maven and just reload the project and let's just check and see if it works so i'm going to rerun this application one, one more time and oh i've closed the browser so let's go back to the browser to uh http it should be this one let's go back to check i'm going to parameters parameters home manage countries and actually we have not linked it right here so i'm just going to maybe go here and just change here to edit and you can see this edit page okay so because you can see we have a date here okay okay so how do we populate how do we send some data into this place and secondly how do we um, link this page from the list of countries so that it passes the actual record selected all right so what we are going to do now i'm going to con i'm going to the country list and i'm going to actually copy the um i'm going to copy this I'm going to copy this, this THHREF, I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it and then modify. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste it for the second one like this, okay? So I can also just clean up the code by dropping down this and this should be fine. Okay, so we have... Uh, THHREF is equal to slash countries, but what we want here is to be country edit, okay? We only need country edit, and we also want to pass the parameter across. Uh, so how do we do this? Um, country edit slash, and we need the parameter to be there. So if we go back here, 
we can actually say here slash ID, okay? So we can have slash ID here. So when it receives the ID, it's going to then you know, use it, okay? So where does it receive the ID from? As you know, it's going to receive it as a path variable. So I'm going to come here and say at path variable should be integer ID, sorry, not you, integer ID. So it's going to receive it as a path variable. And once it receives it, it's going to query to select this uh, particular country so that it can use the country data to populate the edit model, the edit page. It's not a model this time because we are not using model. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to say country, uh, I'm going to select a new country based on this ID. So I'm going to say uh, country service dot gets by ID. Now dot, dot find uh, get by ID. Now we've not written this method and I'm going to give it the ID. Okay. So the country service is going to give us one country by the ID. So let's just write this method in the service. So the country service is going to take an ID and return a country for us. So I'm going to come here and say um, return country repository that find by ID and specify the ID. Now, if it doesn't find it, it's going to return null. So I'm going to say or else return null like this. So, so we want to select a particular record that we have the ID of this record, we simply uh, select it. So, and once we select it, we want to return it to the UI. As you know, to return something to the UI, you need to use the model. I think I've explained to you this before. So I'm going to just add the model here, model, uh, create a model here. Okay, this model is like a vehicle that sends something across to, from, the, from the controller to the UI. And so to add this model, uh, this country to the, to, to the model to the UI, so I'm going to say model.add attributes I'm gonna, is going to be country and it's going to be country like this. Okay. Um, so this is what we have so far. And um, yeah, so this control will be available to the UI, but let's just run the application. Let's just make sure everything is working so far. So what I want is when we click on the country uh, edit button in the list, we want to get to the edit page. So let's go back. Let me refresh this page and I'm going to click on the edit page and it goes to edit and you can see edit one right here. If we go back and go to maybe, you can see edit and it shows us the ID as well. All right, so let's go to the edit page. Let me just change the, um, permit me to, yeah. So instead of add new country records, I'm going to say editing country record, that is fine. Now this country that has come to the UI, we want to display it in the inputs, uh, in the inputs. So how do we do this? We are going to use th value. So I'm going to use th value. Uh, is equal equal to uh, dollar sign country dot description. So that's basically how you display data uh, in the UI component. So the same thing. I'm going to set the value for other ones here. I'm going to also set the value for the nationality here. I'm going to do the same thing for the continent and then do the same thing for the code here, but then I'm going to be changing them up. Uh, this is going to be code. This is going to be what? It's going to be continent. And this is going to be nationality. And I think that should be it. So let me just run it and just let's make sure everything works. So let me stop and run. All right, so it started, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to refresh this page. Let me to refresh this page and I'm going to just click. So you see it works, I'm going to go back. Let me try for India, India works as well, you can see. Uh, so we have, 
Oh yeah, so I clicked on something else. So this is India, okay. So this works. I think there is some mix up. So let me just go back here. Uh, capital should be capital, okay. So now it is placed. Now how do we grab this data and send it back into the database? Uh, so since I want to make these videos to keep them short, so I'm going to kind of stop here. So in the next part, we now see how we can grab this data from the UI and send it, uh, save it right into the database. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any challenges, please do let me know. I remain kind to the tech pro and I'm always there for you.